everybody what's good man uh so now let's answer a couple questions that i've been getting uh now this is in the testing i'm still testing this uh everything looks like it should work um again i still gotta you know put power to it make sure everything uh spins good and everything but everything's lined up uh it's a j32 to a frs or brc transmission I'm gonna show you guys what I did so far uh, and why I picked this transmission because they're cheap. Uh, the flywheel bolt pattern is almost identical to the Honda. They're just off by a little bit, so you're gonna get it machined. Uh, you have to make an aluminum adapter to take care of the depth difference, uh, which I did. I'll show you guys that in a second. And um, also, I know these transmissions from factory, they don't take that much power, but there's a company, I can think of their name right now, but they make synchros. Uh, and I talked to the guy and they had a car with making 500 horsepower plus, and they had no issues with the transmission. So that's the route, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pick those up once I get everything running, because my plan is to boost this motor. Uh, I know it's like 400 horsepower or something like that. And then if everything goes good, then build the motor to make more power. But that's future plans. Right now, it's getting that all done up and, and working good. So if you give me a second, I'm going to show you guys so far what I've done. All right, guys. So the adapter plate, I made it myself. Um, it's not aluminum because I didn't want to spend the money not knowing if this was going to work. So I made it out of steel. I uh, make the patterns, everything, uh, it's boxed in, it's super strong, and believe it or not, it's not that heavy. Also, I machined these out at work, which is a half inch by, I uh, can't remember the depth right now, right here, which, and then that's for the, this piece here, it's for the um, FRS flywheel, so that goes in here. Like so, it gives me the space that I need. And then on the flywheel, I did it by hand on this one because I'm gonna go with an aluminum one. Uh, but I don't know if you could tell. Um, yeah, I don't know if you could tell a little bit, but the holes, the, pa the pattern is almost identical to the Honda. You just have to make the hole a little bigger, a little in uh, inward. So if you uh, have access to a machine shop, it'll be really, really easy to just make this a little bigger. And then you do that. Let me see. I'm trying to do this with one hand. So mm, kind of sucks with one hand. There we go. And line it up. No, I can't line it. Can't line it. Let me just get some bolts. I just got these bolts from Inline Pro, but they're a little too long. So. Anyway, see right there, and it goes in. Um, so the flywheel fits in there perfectly. I got the right depth, and um, so I'm able to use. If this works out good, I'm able to use off-the-shelf parts, which is cheap, nothing custom. You could use, you know, factory flywheel if you want, or you could get an aluminum flywheel kit, which is still cheaper than getting stuff custom. The main reason why I made my own stuff is because. You know, the, the S2000 transmission, like the starter goes on the bottom. The Nissan 350C, the starter goes on the bottom. And I don't like that at all. My plan is to modify my old pen to be more like a rear sump because this is going in a truck with independent rear suspension. It's going to be a road race time attack truck. Um, these transmissions, like I said earlier, they're not that strong stock, but there's a company that makes synchros. Uh, which is the weak part of this transmission and they could take 500 plus horsepower and torque no problem and so and this transmission is light I could pick it up by myself um, they're cheap I paid 500 or 550 with everything transmission shifter the way you see it with, even with the flywheel and, and clutch and everything. And I paid uh, 50 for the starter. 
So, you know, it's it, they're cheap. And the Synchros, right now, they're $300. Um, I believe the guy said um, the, the price might go up because due to uh, um, materials, but still cheap. Uh, and I like this, like I said, this transmission are small, they're lightweight, uh, six gear, and you can find them, like I said, a dime a dozen. The best part about the swap is, like I said, the starter goes in the transmission. Uh, give me a second, and then I'm going to show you guys how it looks on the motor. All right, so here it is. It's on the on the motor. Um, the adapter is roughly inch and uh, inch and inch and a half, I think it was. End up being. Um, depending on, I don't know, because I want to push this engine as far back into the firewall as I can on the truck. Uh, so I might have to shorten the linkage here. Which is nothing. I measure, you know, in the flat spot. I got four inches here and four inches here. So that shouldn't be an issue to shorten that up if I have to. Um, here's the starter, which is the best part. And that goes boom right there. So if you guys like what you see and would like to see more progress, you could um, subscribe to my channel. Um, and little by little, as I get some free time, I'll throw little videos up. Uh, next plan is bolt everything together and add power to the starter to make sure everything speeds, uh, spins and uh, the starter engages and disengages like it's supposed to. And once I know that's 100%, then I'm going to throw it in the truck, start making motor mounts and, uh, you know, turbo manifolds and all that good stuff. But little by little, I'm not a YouTuber. Uh, you know, I do have a regular life. I got three kids, so I do this on my spare time. I'm a welder fabricator as a trade. Um, so, uh, like I said, if you guys like what you see, subscribe to my channel or just check me out. And uh, hopefully everything works out. And you guys can also do this for way cheaper with a better option of what's out there for these engines. Because I think these engines are, are good engines. They make a lot of power. And uh, they're lightweight, which is the best part. I believe they're 300 pounds fully dressed minus header. They're small. So they're perfect for uh, power to weight ratio applications. All right, guys, so this all, that's all I got for you guys right now. Hopefully everything you like. Uh, leave me a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, anything, and I'll try to answer any questions I have. And uh, thank you very much.